Hey there, I'm Anna. Are you confused about concept of multi-threading? Be confused no more because I'm going to dumb it down that even my dog Philip huh? can understand. Philip, are you ready? <laughs> Let's get started. Okay, so imagine this is you, a genius programmer who just launched your own startup. You are ready to create a website for your product and put it out into the world. You are one process and one main thread. And this is your office, aka virtual address space. Since you're the brilliant mind running the show solo, you grab your pen to write down to-do list to get your website up and running. So task number one, design the website. Task number two, build the back end. Task number three, connect the front end to the back end. Task number four, could be to troubleshoot and task number five oh whatever you want think of these tasks as an array of numbers one through five but the task can really be anything you want like search count or whatever as a single threaded process you'll tackle this task sequentially one at a time eventually you complete all of them and have your final result in the case of our startup, it will be an amazing website, but in the case of an array, it will print the numbers, all five of them. Now, welcome to the magical world of multi-threading, where boom, you're not longer alone. Imagine, you, the owner, represent the main thread, but now you've got a full team of five employees. They do the work and you get to relax instead of handling all the tasks yourself like a single threaded process you can delegate now one employee designs the website and this is your web designer who will focus on visual aspects and user experience of the website another employee builds the back end and this is your nerdy back end developer who makes sure that everything behind the scenes of the website works smoothly Another employee can be responsible for the front end development. He will turn the static design into live and interactive websites. Troubleshooting can be done by your test engineer who can write and automate tests that will eliminate bugs and make the website work flawlessly. And we need one more to finish last task. Let's say it's an intern at your company. He is not very useful, but he contributes to the final result. Each task is handled by a separate thread, aka your employee. Unlike a single threaded process that completes tasks sequentially, a multi threaded process divides the work across multiple threads, enabling them to execute concurrently. This can lead to a faster completion, especially on multi core systems. You'll get the same result as when you did tasks sequentially, and concurrently just means tasks are happening at the same time, but not necessarily simultaneously. To communicate, threads share some resources, so if your office can be considered a virtual address space where all threads live, remember, you're not big corporate yet, so you share your space with your boss, aka the process. So you might all have this file cabinet in the office that you all have access to, and in the virtual address space you will share the hip text, data, and BSS segments. But each thread has its own stack, kind of like having their own laptops, because honestly, no one wants to share a computer. Oh my gosh, we need a raised beard here. <laughs> Why everyone at the company is a beard guy? Uh, at least we have one lady here. The due to lady ratio sims write to me no don't go anywhere because i want to show you a quick example check this out i've got this one thread right now he is going to do all the work for us well let's take a look at this here is my array of five numbers think of this as the tasks we were just talking about we'll print the array first by one thread and then we'll check the time how long it takes to complete so we can compare it with printing it by five threads okay so let's compile and run our program boom done okay 
Look, we've got Thread Zero doing all the work in 0.03 seconds. Impressive. Wow, that was super fast. Let's try again. Now, look, it took 0.05 seconds. Let's try one more time and it took 0.07 seconds. Hey, can we average that out? Does anybody have a calculator? Hello? <laughs> Okay, now let's try this with five threads. Let's see if we can beat our single thread at time. Let's compile it quickly. We've got five threads doing all the work, printing their numbers. And oh my god, wow, it took a very long time compared to one thread. This was not the point I was trying to make. Ah, okay, let's try again. Here, 0.02 seconds. I like this result. I think this is our best result so far. Just to be fair, let's run it a couple more times. And 0.03 is not bad too. Okay. Here's the thing. Some threads finish up really quickly here, while others took a bit longer, but each thread worked on its own task. And in the end, the fastest stall time came out to be when all threads were working together. Ba -ba -ba, the shortest time was 0.02 seconds. <laughs> so I wasn't completely wrong after all. And this is a wrap up. Was this analogy helpful? Philip, did you get it? Oh, I hope so. Leave a comment below and give me a thumbs up. Bye.